Okay, this is day three of self-quarantine and talking to deaf dogs. Um, let's, let's talk about the importance of these guys being able to see, especially with this breed. This hair has to be out of their eyes. That's the only way we can communicate other than, than touch or smell. But so this is, this is his sign. This is his sign for top knot. That means I'm gonna do his top knot. So take, the hair's gotta be pushed back out of his eyes. We can see. That hair up so he's got a clear view on that you can trim around the eyes or put the hair up it, again in longer breed dogs it, it's up to you but you have to do one or the other they, they whether even if they can they have perfect hearing and perfect vision they they have to have this pulled up it's not fair to let a dog walk around without being being able to see so there's a few things that I will do to get him to help me help me get it taken care of. Again, this is his cue. This was his cue to put his top knot up, and that means we're going to work on it. This is head down so that I can, and this is weight. Head down, weight, weight, so that I can fiddle with his top knot. Good boy. He's very good boy. Okay. You can get up. <laughs> so... Uh, what else should we talk about here? Oh, I, uh, one thing that, I don't play tug a lot with my dogs, but it's important to get a dog to drop, if, if drop what's in his mouth, and, and, let's see if I give him something, if I, if I give him this brush, and tell him, th this is his whole, this is his sign for, for carry, so carry, okay, and now then, drop. And that's his drop sign. So I think if he does enjoy a game of tug, um, and in the middle I make him drop it and give it to me, so I can show you here what, he, what we do. Here's his towel. We put a knot. We put a knot in it. I don't know if we put a knot in it. Let's try it. Just a minute. Yep, he likes this. Okay, let me get him off the bed. Now we'll play tug. Ooh. Gotta watch your hands, honey, because they can't hear you squeak if they get a little bit too close. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to drop it. And drop. 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 Up. Up. Good boy. Okay. And then the reward is to give them back the towel again. Let them play. Let them play some more. So. But that's, you can get them. Dr. Ian Dunbar talks about jazzing up your do your dogs. But then calming them down, and this is this is an example of it. You get them get them wild and everything, which is good. You know they can have fun like this, but you have to be able to also calm them down. You may have to not go to a certain level of excitement on some dogs because they it takes them it's too much to try and get them to calm down. So okay, so let's try it again. <laughs> That's a good boy. Okay. So, yeah, it's. I believe in a lot of Dr. Ian Dunbar's training um, methods. That's what my foundation training is. It applies to deaf dogs and blind dogs, all dogs. So, it's, it's just fun stuff. So, let's do it one more time. Wait, wait, ah, ah, ah. you did it here, let me, yeah, good boy, good boy, okay, okay, take it, okay, so that's how, that's drop, that's our drop sign, have fun.